Hey Jim, welcome back to another one of my videos. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to have the joy of wrapping presents. We have two bags for backup and then we just have some paper. I'm going to do most of this with paper and style tape. Uh, I just need to get some scissors. There they are. You can probably tell I got up there and because the shot changed. I done one of these videos last year where I basically just wrapped my presents in front of the camera because why the fudge not? Gift numero uno is for my brother, which I got him a sign. You can read the sign. This little gaming thingy, my bobber thingy thingy. It's like a little mini arcade machine. And I also got him this massive box of fudge. So what we're going to do to wrap this present is we're going to simply stack the things on top of each other because they are all squares. So this is what we do. We basically stack up everything like this onto the paper and then we wrap it up. I made the first cut. I'm not cutting in a straight line. Do you really expect anything less from me? Ta da! First cut done. Then we have our little package there in this little square of paper. So we're gonna have to trim down the sides. <gasps> now I've cut it too short. So if you've cut your paper too short, what you do is you get the bit that you just cut off and stick it over the bit that you cut that was too short. You just do this and then put that other side up and you, 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 you're fun. Also, do not do what I did and cut your saddle tape too long because that isn't gonna work very well. Once you've got your present looking a little bit like this, with this, you wanna fold up this here end. You just fold that in, just crinkle it in, cut some bits off if you want. It's completely up to you. Basically, you just, you just, you just wanna kind of scrunkle it like this around the sides and then just saddle tape that. Oh God. If this happens, which is the cello tape interception, what you do is you just get your other finger and just pull it out round and save yourself. Just keep taping it up until you cannot see the present anymore. That's usually a good rule of thumb. The whole point of wrapping is that you cover the item completely. Okay, so as you can see on this side, there is not enough paper for me to fold it over. So in that case, you take one of the scraplets that you, that you cut off and you can use it cover that part. Oh, this is tricky. This is tricky. It's moving, that's the thing that's making it tricky. If I can just sell tape that down to make it one consecutive piece. Hopefully it'll stay. No, it's not staying. Okay, that bit might stay. All you had to do was, yep, Taylor Swift, love, love Taylor Swift. And try not to sell it with the gift to the wrapping paper because that doesn't end well. Oh, I got it to kind of congeal a little bit. It's still like a line, but I can cover that up. How do you do that? Is you just simply cut a little snippet just along there. Uh, just cut snippets um, and then just put it over the gift. The, the exposed bit and just just sell tape that on you will be left with a horribly wrapped present but it is wrapped nonetheless and you put in effort so this is our first gift so we go for on this channel the rustic uh, method of present writing we just take a sharpie and we just write to whoever the person is from and I'm going to put just my first name Tada! That is how you wrap a present, or not to wrap a present. So our next one is a little bit of an easier one to wrap, I think. We are just wrapping a little present for my dog. This is a box of biscuits for dogs. It's It's got all oh, these biscuits. It's cute, okay? And then I got our two little Christmas pudding tennis balls. So what we're gonna do, same thing again. You just plop the present in the middle. So I didn't cut this bit of paper completely straight. Again, what do you expect from me? Not like the best wrapper in the world. Eminem is. So this is a boxy item with a weird rounded item on the top. With weird rounded items, you just plop it on top of the square thing and just hope for the best. Um, so with this, I'm just basically taping just to hold it in place and then folding around it. Another thing with weird items is sometimes they will just slide out like this. If they slide out, just slip it back into your present and do not freak out. Again, I did not have enough paper to cover this end. Why does that always happen to me? So what I'm going to do is again, 
just use the strip that I cut off and just put it um, along there and just cover up that little bottom piece. I don't understand how anybody can enjoy wrapping presents. I just get excited because I know I get to give the present to the people. The technique that I really like to use, and it's the technique that I'm, that I'm using now, is the squash and tape. Um, it really, really helps get out those gaps. So this is another present wrapped. So there is a massive gap here, but if you look into it, you can't actually see the present. So it's fine. Uh, gaps are fine as long as you can't see the present. So I'm just gonna take the side of it because the side's like the most easiest to write on and just go from Pamela, my dog. I just do a little paw print. Ta freaking da, another one wrapped. The next one that we have to wrap is again boxing. It's just for my dad. It is a very nice Lynx box set. Also, if you're gifting something, remember to take off the price. You don't want to show them how much you've spent on them or how little you've spent on them. This one's going to be easy to wrap, but because this um, this is going to my dad, I might just put it in a bag because I won't be seeing my dad until Boxing Day. Always have emergency bags when you're wrapping, just in case you maybe you run out of wrapping paper or if you just know that the person doesn't really value a wrapped present, a wrapped gift, and everybody laughs at my wrapping down at my dad's house. So, you know what? I'm not ready to get laughed at, so I'm just going to wing it in a bag. If something does not fit in a bag, you make it fit into a bag. If there is a will, there is a way. Ta da! That is three presents done, pretty much. So, this is the next present is a present for my stepmom. So, I've got a box of chocolate, and then I've got these little adorable socks. And they've all got like a different breed of dog on them. So thought they were really cute and I thought she loves dogs. So I thought she would really, really, really value these. And they're really, really soft and cute. This one is another method of present wrapping. I got you a ton of books in this box. It's really, really, really heavy Christmas present. I got my mom a ton of Strictly Come Dancing animals. She is a massive Strictly fan. So I bought her every single annual there is. I had to source these online and basically just try and get like a shit ton of them. It took me a very long time and uh, some of them had to come from like foreign countries and stuff and some of them were like pristine conditions, some of them were like collector's editions and stuff. So it took me a very long time to find them but I finally found them. Some of them came in terrible condition, some of them came in great condition but that's the joy of sourcing books. Instead of just wrapping these, I'm gonna keep them in their box and then wrap it, um, just so it's easier for me just to wrap, you know, the box. I also got her not one, but two different selection boxes as well, and also a Strictly DVD. So she cannot say that I'm a bad daughter because I've got her a lot of shit for Christmas this year, and this is going to take all my wrapping paper. So this method, it turns out that I did not have enough paper, which is not good. So if you find yourself where you've cut way too less paper, you just want to take your sheet, measure it out, top of it, and then cut out the bits that you missed. Just like this. Um, you should always cut over a flat surface and also watch your fingers. Um, but this is how not to wrap Christmas presents. If you don't have a, uh, a flat surface, just do what I'm doing. Um, get a really, really uneven cut. You'll be cell taping all this later anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just make sure that the present is covered. Oh, don't come. Oh, well, I'm wrapping your present. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is what a mid uh, box wrap looks like. So basically, you put your Amazon box in here and that's what the person will open so it's like they're opening an amazon box that's wrapped one eternity later Just finalizing the sides am i in focus like when i sit back here am i because i know when i go close i'm in focus and that is oh god i'm just gonna draw a little heart because i'm because i'm adorable oh, can you tell i'm struggling with this present I can't even show you guys the name on the top. There you go. Oh, this is a heavy present. So that is how not to wrap Christmas presents. I am. I apologize um, that this video was a bit sleepy because I'm so tired. 
But yeah, I think that's absolutely everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give a big thumbs up and also show the subscribe button some love. So thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video, which may be Christmas themed, may not be, but I love Christmas. So wrap your presents, take my advice or not, and hopefully you guys will have a very Merry Christmas.